This is Joe Sabrone of A Fool for Learning, and our Foolish Thought training tip for today is onboarding. In the September 2022 issue of TD Magazine, it was reported that Eagle Hill Consulting, a firm located in Virginia, conducted a survey, and it reported out that of the 700 U.S. employees surveyed, 58% found it harder now than before the pandemic, before the pandemic, to onboard. Over half of those surveys stated that they had virtually onboarded, therefore slightly under half did it face-to-face. Overall, the group did not feel that they had a good foundational understanding of their organization after their onboarding process. So what does this mean? Well, it means that virtual onboarding faces the exact same challenges and issues as face-to-face onboarding. Gone are the days when onboarding, or as we used to like to call it, new staff orientation, was a one-day or week event. It needs to be multiple events over weeks and months. Some even advocate a year, but I think that's a bit too long. In addition, managers need to be involved. Managers of different key departments need to meet with the group to explain what they do and to allow questions to be asked by the new team members. Managers of the new staff need to meet with them on a regular basis during the first few months to ensure that all is going well and that they are aware of their role on the team. Something to think about. To learn more about A Fool for Learning and how we can assist you and your organization with an appropriate learning solution to meet your business needs, please visit my website at afoolforlearning.com. This is Joseph Barone, the CEO of A Fool for Learning, signing out. Remember, learn perform, succeed.